We're here at the Cannes Yachting Festival, September 6 to 11, 2022. It's the first show after two years of COVID lockdown. The result is that it's bigger and better than ever before. This year, there are 575 exhibitors, 620 boats, and 141 of them are new. Walking the docks, we discovered some interesting new boats. Hello there. Welcome to Cannes Yachting Festival. My name is Jonas Götberg. I'm working as the commercial director for Nimbus Boats. We're here to look at the new Nimbus T9 T-Top with twin engines. This boat will also be presented in Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in coming months. So, but I'm here to give you a little sneak preview. So please follow me on board. The essence of a Nimbus is, is really to have a comfortable life on board. Whenever you are around in a boat, it's very easy to move around. Uh, wherever you do, it's, everything works. You can move around. It's not tight areas like this. You have grab rails everywhere. We have the seating area where you can sit and dine or just sit having a cup of coffee or cocktails when you are out swimming. We have the extended swimming platforms on both sides of the engine. So it really has uh, good areas to, to swim and do that. And you've got separate boxes for fenders, cooling box here, with a lot of cool drinks. And as I said here before, we have the wet bar. And here you can also place a Weber grill. Coming to the driver area, I would say that the ergonomy is one of the things that we are working a lot with. You should feel comfy behind the wheel and you should have a very nice area to sit. You have perfect overview, you have the dashboard with the two 12 inch panels, you have the control, you have the footrest and you basically sit like a king when you're driving here. You have a cabin with sleeping accommodations for two people and you have a toilet. And for this new model we have also an updated Bimini top with stainless steel, very sturdy poles and you get the see-through Lexan roof which uh, let the sun come in but not the heat from the sun. You can easily take away the uh, UV uh, with this one. And you see on top here you get also roof racks that you can place your sub board, canoe or whatever you prefer to do to bring on your journey to have fun. Coming through the front deck we have a full-scale sunbed with a backrest that you can sit and enjoy the sun. You can also take away the sunbed here, place it with the table, and then you can sit and have a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever you like here. And one that's always interesting with Nimbus boat, it should always be easy to step on and step off the boat, wherever you are, at the, at the bow or at the stern. You have anti-slip everywhere and it's easy access everywhere. And also on the front deck, you have the sunshade to cover it from the sun. That can easily be removed in just a few seconds when, when you want to cruise away. This boat has a performance of up to 45 knots with a two engine. But above all, it rides very smooth with a twin stepped hull and it's very stable in the sea. It has this wide shines in front that takes away the splash so it runs very dry as well. So you need to test it. Come over to Fort Lauderdale and meet us there. After seeing the Nimbus T9, we walked down the dock and found another new boat, the Wellcraft 355. Hi everybody, my name is Kay Bellinger. I'm with Wellcraft in Four Winds. We're here at the Cannes Yachting Festival and I'm here to show you some pretty cool things about our hull number two, Wellcraft 355. One of the cool things about this boat is it feels like a sport bike. Motorcycle turning through the turns, this, this boat handles very, very well. It just hugs the water like a motorcycle hugs the turns. This helm station has been designed to be ergonomically correct. So whether you're standing here or you're sitting up in the chair, it's always comfortable. These throttles are very easy to push forward. You have full joystick controls for easy docking and maneuvering assistance. The, the two screens here for the Garmin uh, satellite. One of the great things about the sound system in this boat is you can have just cabin 
or outside or both, and you can individually control the volumes. Here we have the full galley with a gas operated stove top. Here you have your refrigerator. And this boat is sealed to the point where you could be going 53 knots and not hear the engines at all. It's a very quiet ride. So down here in the cabin area, it is a queen size bed. Uh, for those of us that are a little bit taller, this actually extends out a little bit more and we have a center cushion that goes in to make the bed a little bit longer, a little more comfortable. This is a Tempur-Pedic style mattress, which is very convenient and comfortable. There is storage all around the boat. Um, you have a closet here that you can use for your wardrobe. Um, each of these obviously have little compartments as well. And again, you can see there's plenty of headspace. The three-piece bathroom here, you can see it's a com very spacious. The ceiling also has about six and a half feet. The aft deck is extremely spacious of so the 355. Um, one of the wonderful things that we, we really wanted to make sure that we touched on when we built this model is the depth of the hull. Uh, from the gunnel to the water line here at the stern, it's three and a half feet, which creates for a nice deep hull. Uh, up toward where the captain sits, it's about four feet from the gunnel to the water. And on both sides of the boat, here at the stern, we have um, side point access. On both sides. So you can open both of these up, so if you have divers or snorkelers or swimmers out, you're able to hop right in pretty easily. This outside area, uh, this section right here, you can use it for either seating. And it also comes with storage for your fenders in the back. It's very convenient. There's a lot of space on this boat where you can basically store everything you need. 355 comes with a few different power options. Hull number two comes with three 300 horsepower Yamaha engines. And hull number one has three 350 horsepower engines on it made by Mercury.